hello and welcome to our channel we are here with a video on red hat enterprise linux version 7 there is not um, not very much of difference in version 6 and 7 from a basic administration perspective however under the hood there's a lot new things are in rhgl 7 this video is produced by lemon expert in association with uh, another channel you my hacker please subscribe both of these channels you will find awesome content here now bit of history of a Linux how this system ever came in existence this system is developed by Linus Torvald in 1991 as a part of their university project he made this Linux before graduation so it's a kind of great he wanted to name it a free X. Why this is? Back then when uh, Linux was in university, the most popular operating system was a Unix and it was not free. So he used U Unix to develop his own operating system, Linux. And he named it Free Unix as a Free X. So initially he made it as a desktop OS, but now we can see that Linux is a part of Android the kernel of Android is in Linux actually Linux kernel is used in Android L uh, Linux is used on Raspberry Pi device that's a very awesome device Linux is used by as uh, by many organizations for their server that includes prestigious NASA and a satellite I think Linux is the best operating system for a satellite they don't install complete Linux in the satellite, however, they use modules. That's because of its property. Uh, Linux is a kind of a modular operating system where everything is available in module. You can choose which module you want to install and you can make your own operating system according to your requirement. So why Linux? Why Linux means we have so many great operating systems. Uh, before Windows, there were uh, free BSD and uh, all other things. But why Linux? Why we choose Linux? What's so great in it? So first thing, Linux is open source. Okay, there are a lot of products which are open source, but this open source has offers a high customizability. As I told, Linux is in form of different modules like suppose one is a GUI another is a some sort of load balancing uh, one is support Apache server and one is uh, something else so you can choose which uh, part or which package you want to make your own operating system suppose you need only these two packages so remove these two packages from your um, operating system and you will have your own version of operating system whose capability and capacity will be controlled by you low system requirements that's very great point and that is achieved because of this because you need you remove all the unnecessary component from the Linux so system requirements falls uh, to a bare minimum suppose you you are installing a server so you what will you do with GUI so don't install the GUI component that is x11 so you will have a server without GUI but works as a as fine and great server predictable configuration across all distros why I wrote this predictable configuration you you as you know that Linux has a directory like slash bin slash etc all the configurations are stored in etc all the server configuration goes here or the server files uh, hosting files goes in dot var so it doesn't matter which Linux you are using whether you are using a Red Hat or CentOS or Fedora the configuration that you have written for a Red Hat will also work on CentOS and Fedora however sometimes there could be minute changes but they are uh, rares availability in multiple flavors you need server operating system yes we have you need desktop yes Linux do have that desktop you need IOT operating system yes we have in, indeed uh, Raspberry Pi that's a completely IOT device that's available for Linux 
you name it Linux has this mobile for mobile phone you have Android and even Ubuntu came up with their own their own operating system however it never came uh, in market probably it's still in development phase then task automation is highly efficient why this is actually Linux is CLI based you uh, CLI based operating system it's a mainly CLI based operating system the GUI component is installed in Linux through a package so all the things in Linux you can do with CLI you even if you do not have uh, GUI you can there is nothing that you cannot do and this offers you can write a scripts and if you can write a scripts you can automate whole Linux operation so task aut automation is highly efficient in Linux massive availability of troubleshooting knowledge was and why this is because of because of this open source since Linux is an op uh, open source operating system it offers it hosts a very large community that works on it produces modules for it improves it people face problem they post problems on different forums and there are so many good people out that use Linux they solve this problem therefore we have a massive knowledge base and no single company entity organization owns it it's free available on internet and non predatory licensing non predatory why what do you mean by non predatory see we have a commercial companies like uh, Microsoft what they do they release their product in multiple editions suppose evaluation edition then express edition and then professional edition then enterprise edition and they charge different different fees however these two remain free for evaluation free for less 30 to 60 days and express is free for educational purposes along with it they give you some kind of a bundled product like for startups they have some sort of new program let's say program X so they will say that I will provide you all my uh, licenses of pro all the licenses of my product for one year without any charge okay but while designing their license agreement they will uh, insert a clever clause in it that all the license agreements can be changed at any point of time without giving you any prior notice and that's how they use predatory licensing they change it sometime even after one year or just before completing one year and they demand huge sum that runs from 10 to 20 million as their licensing fees since uh, a new company a budding company subscribe for this licensing they've developed products sold uh, let's say they did business for let's say 10 million and once they uh, have all the information they means Microsoft have all the information they start claiming law now give me just uh, 5 million as my licensing fee since you use this much of product all these are the predatory licensing and this is very common across Microsoft Adobe uh, and uh, Coral Draw AutoCAD they all do this but Linux in Linux you do not have such problem why because uh, Linux uh, since it it's open source and uh, freely available therefore the economic model of harvesting this technology for the commercial purposes is different in Linux people uh, companies like Red Hat charge for support they charge uh, for uh, uh, updation updation means uh, like there is a proprietary product of uh, Red Hat okay some sort of a package that developed by Red Hat so if you need any update on that you then you will be charged updated so this model gives the product freely but charge the service on it however Microsoft and other does gives product for a license and then charge some annual fee uh, for service so this kind of a predatory licensing is not uh, visible in Linux and that's a very beautiful thing
and literally beautiful. If you are not stuck in a problem, it's literally beautiful. Where Linux don't play well? Since Linux is a great operating system, has a comparatively lenient uh, licensing policy, but we don't see Linux around us. We see Windows, most of it. Why? The reason is that, first thing, that <laughs> gaming, that's a very big reason. Suppose you are a uh, desktop user, home-based desktop user, and uh, that you use just media and a game, then Linux is not for you. Literally, for non Linux. But gaming has begun, they have developed a special OS called Steam OS that is actually gaining popularity among uh, online players. So it's, it's still in budding, that's why this is one of our advantage. And why this is because Linux is an operating system, they provide all of the codes of the packages or the systems or the software. So if the gaming company started to give their packages, then how will they will make money from it? That is why the gaming is not yet at the par uh, with other operating system. Nav users get headache. That's literally true. Even playing an MP3 on Linux can give uh, unexperienced user a massive headache. Massive, massive headache. So this Linux is not for uh, untrained and experienced users because they will fe face problems in every second step. Linux is not for everyone and not for every day. However, operating systems like Linux, Mint, and elementary OS, and uh, Ubuntu, and their flavors like mate and all the things they're trying to change this and they had done quite in a significant way but uh, still there's a uh, miles to go availability in multiple flavors causes confusion yes that does how many distros you have i will say that more than 3000 distros of linux are available in the market 3000 different flavors of a single operating system which suits you it's a kind of a research project project in itself if you want if you are a user and want to choose a correct and a perfect operating system for you that fits your media needs office needs gaming needs then it's a headache hardcore desktop user market has a multi-dimensional requirement why i say multi-dimensional because they want great media they want games cool graphics, speed, and support, and these all things together creates a very complex problem. Suppo think about it, cool graphics, game and media, then if you will combine these three aspects then this is a resource intensive operating system and if you put under low resources a speed will drop since Linux itself is an operating system no company owns it so how are going to get a support that's why that is why Linux we don't see around much so you can ask a question if Linux if every as I, as I said that every Linux is same and there are three, more than 3000 flavors so every Linux is same then why I choose RHEL to make Red Hat Enterprise Linux to make this tutorial and why focus on it specifically RHEL I can uh, I could have taught you about anything like Ubuntu Gen 2 or uh, Fedora but why choose I Linux RHEL the yeah, answer is that every Linux is same but as you keep digging deeper things start to change yes at conceptual level at the first impression every Linux is same however as we keep moving forward and going to be more technical things do change that is why we have more than 3000 flavors because each one of them different from an another in some sort of way second thing RHEL is used by most of the enterprise yes it is a commercial operating system however it charges only for its services not for the product itself but the services so it's used by enterprise price and if you want to make yourself a career in Linux administration then you need to have a certification from RHEL that is why I chose RHEL operating system to make my this tutorial 
So how actually this tutorial is going to be fo unfolded, uh, what are the topics and how this course will further progress is a list that first I will teach you about the Linux installation, how to install the Linux. Afterwards, I will teach you the basic commands like uh, file directory navigation, how to change directory uh, from one directory to another and uh, create a file, view a file, all the basic commands. Then directory structure, how the Linux is structured. As, as I, I, I told you about that, uh, that Linux has a predictable uh, configuration. So if you know the directory structure, you can compare this directory structure with another operating system directory structure, then you will know that uh, how predictable that uh, configuration is. Editors has uh, editors like VI, VIM, and EMCAS, uh, kind of editor which you used to, to uh, create a configuration files and edit files in Linux. Then user management, just like uh, any other uh, Windows or any other operating system, creating a user, multiple users, managing them, giving them permissions, and restricting them. So all these things will be in user management. Then group management, permissions. Permissions will be like ACL access control list and uh, which user can access which kind of file, which user will have no restricted permission, which will have only just to read certain directories, mounting. Like uh, when you insert a pen drive, in a Linux system, so it goes in uh, dot uh, in goes in it goes in slash dev directory and uh, gets a name for itself. Uh, for pen drive, it is probably SDB, so it's a device. Then we will mount a device this device on a folder. Then we'll mount this device on a folder so we can access the content of this. This is a mounting will be taught after the permission. And the partitions, how do we part the disk in uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Afterwards, output redirection and piping. Uh, this is a very important topic. And it is very, very important if you are going to put your hands on scripting, scripting and automation. This is very important for scripting and automation. And this is very beautiful and easy to learn. RPM package installation, how do we install an RPM package in a Red Hat Enterprise Linux? Then after YUM installation, this is another package manager that uh, deals with some of the shortcomings of the RPM. And scripting, how to write a script, execute a script, and all other things. Quota management, which user has uh, uh, how, much a uh, how much allowance of a disk space, all other things will be taught in a quota management and linking in Linux, Linux that's uh, not so much important however very interesting topic and you will learn few things that in Windows we have a shortcuts we just right click and choose a shortcut to make it on desktop but in Linux that's a different there's a two kind of a link hard link and soft link and they behave differently so we will learn this servers there's a various kind of server like DNS server DSCP server, Telnet server, all these servers will be uh, taught in this tutorial and recovery. L in last you will be taught if how, what will happen if you have lost your root password then what will you do? We will teach you how to recover the root password or change the root password when you have lost it. So friends these are all the topics that will be taught uh, here in this video series so please stay tuned at uh, lemon expert and do subscribe these both channel and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends and peers so they can learn from here as well and please do subscribe these two channel thank you have an awesome day